Mom, Frankie Val, will you come show your boots? We have the pink and we have the black. Thank you. <laughs> Hi Vogue, we are the women of Chrome Hearts. Come with us to see our objects of affection. We are at the factory of Chrome Hearts in the middle of Hollywood. It dubs as a workspace, a art studio, photography, dance. I rehearse here. I think we're just kind of in a big artistic zone for everybody. It's just a family affair. I would say I have a knack for curating a very home environment. The stapler, the rat trap, the tape dispenser, like everything's pretty chromed out. We physically built everything. So it went from tiny little studio to a big factory. <laughs> this is a time when I went to Baldazari's private studio where he was doing his 2019 series I had dreamed my whole life of having a Baldessari from the 70s. Finally, when I got it, I wanted to meet him and go to his studio. He told me he would take a photo if I picked my nose because he's known for the nose. So I said, sure. And that is this photo, almost picking my nose. <laughs> it was a really interesting afternoon. We spent the whole time at his studio, just him and I photographing, and he died not shortly after. So it was very meaningful to me. Our time together, which was brief, and the fact that I do own one of his pieces. My next object of affection is European porcelain from around the world. My grandmother used to serve me tea, so I decided that was something of my childhood I wanted to carry through. Her mom would always serve us Four tea. Four o'clock. So, <laughs> and then she Dutch. always served us tea, so I feel like it's a really girly thing that happens in our family and my dad makes all the girls tea every single night for as long as I can remember. It's a Dutch thing. These are crystals that I collect. Each is collected in different parts of the world that are handpicked and traveled with me to different places. The crystals have come to me different times in my life, usually by feeling. And these particular colors are representative of all the chakras. The functionality of each chakra is different. So let's say this is your throat chakra, blue. It's your voice. So if I'm feeling like I can't, you know, speak my mind, I'm gonna touch that more. The object I'm going to show you today is the first bag I ever designed. After school, when I was really little, I used to just come to the factory and I was with my best friend at the time and I didn't know how to sew. I didn't really know what piping was. I didn't know any of that. My parents let me play with a bunch of scraps and I stapled this bag. And I mean, I think this is a label maker that says my best friend and my name on it. Ever since I was a kid, I was obsessed with my parents. They were my superheroes, wanted to be just like them, wanted to design. Anything they did, I wanted to do. I was literally gonna cry. She came in and we, she was so proud of this bag. And remember at the time, her dad was like anti-color. It was black leather or no. We're never gonna sell color, we're never gonna do bags. So two things, she did a bag in color. So to me it was like, yes, that's my girl. That's my girl, she's a rebel. This is another object that I wanted to share. I think it's the first Chrome Hearts coffin. I had asked for a table and instead I have received a jewelry box that my dad designed for me for a special birthday. And I keep all my goodies and notes and good vibes in here. I keep notes from old lovers and new lovers and bass players and friends. My monster puppets, which are vital to my living. I keep everything my friends give me and my parents and things that make me feel like at home. I like to have one place to go because I'm always traveling, I'm always touring. I know if I go in here, I'm gonna find everything. I wanna maybe bring like pictures of my dog and I and I'll put them on my dressing rooms. This is Billy, love of my life. These are her ashes. Only the finest for her in a Chrome Hearts fragrance bottle. My favorite object of affection, my Sugar John's boots. My stage boots. 
They're my second skin. I don't play a show without them and I, I just can't go anywhere without them. I originally designed these with my friend Chris, who's a shoemaker, he's fabulous, and we went back and forth and I just knew I wanted to feel like a feline on stage and be able to stomp and feel powerful and I didn't have that shoe yet. I wanted to create my own, I wanted it to hug me and I wanted them in every color, so this is what they ended up looking like. This was my first pair I ever made. They weren't even technically chrome hearts yet, they were just for me. And it was the first tour I was ever gonna go on and I was opening up for the vaccines and I, I made these. They took like three months, I was so excited. And this was the first pair and then I, my friends started to kind of get a little annoyed that they couldn't own them so I made them for chrome hearts. <laughs> it's actually mandatory that everyone wears Sugar Jones in the chrome hearts factory so I'm gonna show them really quick. Mom, Frankie Val, will you come show your boots? We have the pink and we have the black. This is our newspaper print for our first bikini that was like super sentimental to us. And we put our own photos on the newspaper and then a bunch of sayings that we've always said growing up and then all the small little letters are my sister's lyrics. She's always said, never grow up, don't rush it. I think at first I wanted to grow up quicker so I could hang out with her and her friends. As I got older, I really believed in never grow up and like ran with that. And so there's a little piece of like everybody I love in this bikini. As her older sister, honestly, I just was waiting for her to be born so I could have my best friend, my <laughs> official best friend, and now she's cooler than me. And speaking of that, I have to go to rehearsal, so I love you, I'll <laughs> let you take over. Bye, mommy. Bye, sweetie. Love. This next object is a vintage Harley Davidson zip up hoodie that means a lot to me. It's one of the last things that I received from my best friend. I bring this jacket with me everywhere I go. It's just like something super comforting for me to always have with me. But it's so funny because my friends borrow my clothes all the time and a lot of people always want to take this and I'm like, take it off. Like you have to leave it in there. It's like the one thing I don't let anybody borrow, but it's super cute. All right, so this box has been with me for a very long time. I feel like it's one of the first things that I remember getting. I was around this age. I don't remember like when I got this, but my sister gave it to me. She always had blue hair. I always wanted pink hair. And then I ended up getting blue hair just like her. And then inside here, just like little things. This is my first $2 bill that my grandpa Larry gave me. He collected $2 bills. This is from my grandma, it's her old perfume. And there's just a bunch of other like photos. This is one of my favorite rings ever. It's a Baccarat ring that my mom gifted to me and it matches with my grandma sister and my mom and so it's just super 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 beautiful that's the whole fam thank you so much for coming along with us around the factory vogue it was so fun and we hope to see you again